It's time to go behind enemy lines, presented by Windows 11. So pleased to be joined by the voice of the New Orleans Saints, Mike Haas. Michael, we don't see each other very much, the Titans and the Saints. Been kind of a strange year. The Saints are 5-3, and three, and at certain moments you think, man, these guys are giant killers. They are really staying on track, even though Drew Brees has retired. And then other weeks you're like, what just happened? So my first question is, have you been able to figure out who these New Orleans Saints are yet? No. Not even close. And if you'd have told fans or you know media said you're going to be five and three after eight games, I think they'd say great. And then you're going to show them how you got to five and three and who you lost to and who you beat, and they'd go, well, that that doesn't seem feasible. And so this team has been through so much with the hurricane going away for a month, first home game on the road. They only have one home game until Halloween. So it's been very strange. And their quarterback, Jameis Winston, who was doing pretty solid, very significantly, you know, touchdowns, not very many interceptions. So he goes down. So it's kind of like, what's next? You know, what else can this team kind of go through? And so you, you, you don't have an identity for this team other than Defense is extraordinary. I think it begins with Demario Davis and the linebacking core. He is the leader, you know, from a tackling standpoint and pressure. And they've gotten, they're solid on, on the ends with Cam Jordan, David Onyemata back. They've had some injuries, get Marcus Davenport back. And the DBs have been young and inexperienced, but if you've got a Marshawn Lattimore back there and a Malcolm Jenkins, it's it's a good unit. It's not just a, an average unit playing well. It is a good unit and they've you know what 10 to 11 turnovers and when they're in trouble is when they don't get turnovers they can get a turnover against atlanta couldn't flip the field couldn't do anything and and that's the difference. they have been getting turnovers one or two each game alvin Kamara is a player people in the state of tennessee know very well even people in the state of alabama he played for the crimson tide for a time he has certainly developed into one of the marquee players in the nfc Give us an update on his year outside of what the statistics tell us. He's everything for this offense for a while, for the first four or five games. I think he was 56, 57 percent of the offense in Seattle. He's running the ball. He's catching the ball. He's your leading receiver. He's your leading rusher. Uh, he, if, if, if they weren't so worried about needing him on offense, I know he would have returned punts when Deontay Harris was out, but it was like, you know, what are we going to do here? We can't, you know, can't ask him to do everything. Let's talk, if we can, about the quarterback position. Where do you think the Saints are with that right now as we approach Week 10? I think Trevor Simeon is going to be, if you know, in my opinion, is your starter. He certainly didn't do anything that would have lost him the job this past week. There were a ton of drops. And Coach Payton said, really, only one of those was a location. So there were just a ton of drops in the first half. And then, and then you use Taysom like you did against Atlanta.